Oops. <laughs> Man, I keep doing that. Ah! Hello, hello, my name is Christine and welcome to today's video. This is going to be a fitness type of video specifically for women and specifically for runners and anyone else that is doing high impact workouts. I have been on a quest over the last several months to try and find the best sports bras for running specifically. I have watched YouTube videos. I have read all of the Amazon reviews. I have talked to my friends. I have talked to my family. I have tried to get as much feedback as possible to give you guys some options to help support the ladies while you are running. Running is a very high impact sport. There is a lot of movement up and down and you wanna take care of them so they're still looking nice and sharp when you're in your 40s and 50s and 60s. So men, if you are not interested in this type of video, feel free to skip it and I'll see you back in the next one. I wanna give you guys a wide size range, no matter if you're an A cup or a triple D or I actually don't know what's past that. <laughs> And because I can't give my own personal experience outside of my own personal size, I have also tried to research based on people that I know and what they say as well. First, I wanna tell you what not to buy. And it's basically anything from Victoria's Secret Pink. <laughs> so this cutesy little like strappy doodad, very, very cute, right? worthless. <laughs> this will do nothing for you. You might as well be wearing nothing while you're running. Now these are fine if you're just doing weightlifting or you're on the elliptical, there's no bouncing going on there. But when it comes to running, save your money. Same thing goes with this one. It is slightly better because it is a thicker material with a lot less give, so it'll hold you tight. This is an old Victoria's Secret one as well. They have a ton of different styles and some are good and then and some are not good. So you definitely want to stay away from the pink side. That's more for fashion and not really functionality. So no good here. If I can find links for these specific sports bras, I will leave them all down below for you. And there is actually one more that I don't have here, but I did purchase and try and then give away. But I will put a picture up here for you and I will tell you that it's a friend of mine's favorite sports bra to wear. So let's go with your A and B cup to start with. Now this is an Under Armour cross back sports bra. It does come with little cup pads to help you out a little bit. I love that the band is very stretchy and thick and you can find this sports bra basically anywhere. It's on Amazon, it's at Kohl's, it's at Dick's Sporting Goods, it's at Cabela's. Any sporting goods store will have this very basic Under Armour crossback. So A and B cup, this is gonna be a good option for you. And maybe C, depending on how the rib cage fits. You can get them for as low as $20, upwards of $35. This is a really, really solid choice for your A and B cup sizing. I wanna say I picked this one up at Kohl's and they come in a variety of colors. So I think this is a very, very good option. Okay, let's move on to the rest of the sports bras, which are not done by small, medium, large, extra large, etc., but by band and cup size. And for the bustier ladies, this is going to be what you want to look for. You want to have the rib cage adjustable and the cup size accurate because your standard small, medium, large may not fit you if you have a larger cup size and a smaller rib cage. So this champion bra I picked up on Amazon and it does measure by band and cup size. And so this will be good for your size A, probably through a small D cup because you can purchase it in uh, maybe a double D actually. There's one girl that said she still really enjoyed this one at a double D size. So they do have individual seaming on each breast because there are two, you know, you don't wanna mush it into one pancake. The shoulder straps are heavily padded and are adjustable. It's very hard to find shoulder straps with adjustable straps, but I find this to be a very, very important feature when you're looking for functionality because everyone is different here and it will make things fit differently. And then of course on the back, you have three hook clasps and this is also adjustable. So even though mine is a 34 rib cage, I can still make it a little bit smaller and a little bit bigger by using this. The band under here is very thick and reinforced and very comfortable to wear. The only downside to this sports bra is that it is not 
a crossback. That is the only thing I don't like about this one and I wish it were adjustable to make it that way because I feel like it's gonna kind of fall off my shoulder just a bit. That is the only con to this sports bra. It is one that I really like and I reach for a lot when I know it's going to be a running day. Okay, let's go to Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret has their high impact double knockout sports bra, which is an underwire padded cup with a center clasp underneath and then wraps around with a zipper right here. So let me zip it up and I'll show it to you. So it is double layered, which is really nice. I really enjoy the underwire part of this because it really feels like it holds you in, which is great. The only downside to that, it makes this lower band not adjustable outside of you saying, I'm a 32 rib cage, I'm a 40 rib cage. And I do like that it is a cross back. The straps are very padded and comfortable and it is adjustable right here, which is fantastic. I will say for long runs, I wore this on an eight mile run and this zipper flap that's supposed to hold it, like protect the bottom zipper came off and rubbed my skin off and I started bleeding <laughs> like right there. I haven't noticed an issue like that on like five miles or less but once I went up to eight, nine, and 10, that is an issue with this sports bra. So I no longer wear this one on a longer run, but any anywhere from like 5K to a five mile is acceptable in this one. This one is expensive. It's over $50, but the good news is Victoria's Secret runs sales all the time and you can purchase it online, have it shipped to your house, and they do come in assorted colors. Let's move back to the Champion brand and my first fail of the group. This is a champion brand. This one that I really like that I got off of Amazon. This champion one is from Target and they are not the same. This one is supposed to be a dupe of the Victoria's Secret double knockout and it sucks. <laughs> so do not buy this. Uh, I showed it to my friend and she's like, oh my gosh, it's a camo sports bra. Where did you get it? I'm going to go buy it. And I was like, do not go buy this. I don't use this for running ever, but I am going to show you what they tried to do to mimic the Victoria's Secret sports bra. So it does have like, it's not a full underwire, but it is lined and seamed quite a bit like the other one. It's a front clasp like the other one. It has a hook to hook it in that does not work very well. I have found this to be not very effective and zips in the front, just like the Victor Victoria's Secret one that doesn't zip past that clip very well. Hold up. Holy moly. The first time I put this on, the zipper didn't stay at all. And <laughs> I had Dave help me and he was like, so that doesn't look like it's going to work very well. I did keep it because I used it for a run, but I only bike or uh, weightlift in this one now. And it does have the zipper keeps pros to it. It does have adjustable straps on the shoulder strap, which is excellent. Like one of the most adjustable ones I've seen actually, because it goes all the way down this lower strap while thick isn't tight enough to kind of hold you in on the underneath side. And there's just a lot of movement. This one is no good. So I know what they were trying to do, trying to find a cheaper option to the Victoria's Secret one, but they do not perform the same. I'm a big fan of saving money, but sometimes spending less money to buy something that you think is similar is not worth it please buy the more expensive, better quality sports bra. I will say the same about running shoes. Please do not buy your running shoes from Target or Walmart. Get a real running shoe. Your feet will thank you. So this is a no-go. Total fail, hated it. Let's talk about two Amazon sports bras. First, I'll put on the screen right now my friend's favorite inexpensive sports bra. It's about $20. It comes up very high in the front. So if you want to wear a tank top but don't want to be showing all of your goods to everybody at the gym or while you're running, it's perfect. And according to her, it worked really, really well. And I think the reason it doesn't work for me is because I'm significantly taller. My friend is five foot one and I am five foot six. So I've got five inches on her. And the thing I didn't like about it is that I felt like it didn't hold me down right there, right? There's too much fabric between my shoulder and the breast itself, right? So for me personally, I need something that holds me in on the top as well instead of just loose fabric. And I really think that's a height issue. So if you're short, you might really like that one. I will leave a link to that one down below. It's highly reviewed and very popular on Amazon. It just didn't work for my body type. In that same hunt, this sports bra popped up in my Amazon recommended as a extremely highly rated, high impact, sports bra. It's very cute. It was inexpensive. It was about $25 or $30. It had this adorable cross back, three adjustable hook clasps in the back, which I loved. 
the bottom band is extremely thick. And you know, when something's rated that highly, I'm like, yes. So I bought it and it came <laughs> and I don't even need to run in it. Here's, <laughs> it comes in small, medium, large, extra large instead of band and cup size. I should have known by that that this was not gonna work for anyone bigger than probably a B cup. I got a small, which is the smallest size they offer, and it's too big. This strap is not adjustable, and it's like bunching up here, and I'm not a short girl. So I think that's really fascinating. I think this would work on a larger chested lady that maybe can fill it out more, and maybe it pulls the strap down a little bit, but even then, I don't feel like these straps are that supportive. So this is not gonna be a recommend for me, but if you want something that's very cute and functional for weightlifting, elliptical biking, yoga, this could be an option. Just not for running, you will regret it. Oh, Under Armour. <laughs> because I like this one so much for like an AB cup, I thought I would try out their high impact sports bra for C cup and higher. This one is also done by band and cup size, which is a requirement to me if you're looking for something that fits really, really well. And it does have an adjustable strap in the rib cage, which is great. It has a cross back, which is great. And the shoulder strap is adjustable, which is perfect. This bottom band is extremely thick and tight. I think that's the best part about this sports bra. Now for the negatives, it is very, very padded. So whatever you do have will be pushed right up. And that's the issue. They push it up and don't support it on the top. This is a sports bra to like show off the girls and not actually for running. So while it holds everything in down here, it holds nothing up here. So if you're jumping, there's gonna be a lot of movement up top. So I really, really wanted to like this one, but unfortunately it was a no for me. And this one is fairly pricey at $55 retail. Uh, you can probably get it cheaper, but I would not recommend this one. Lastly, my favorite one that I have found is the most expensive of the entire bunch and the best of the entire bunch, the She Fit Sports Bra. I originally saw this sports bra on a separate YouTube review video and this was her number one recommended sports bra and I was like, I gotta try it. This is the most adjustable sports bra you will ever find. The shoulder straps are Velcro and you can adjust them however tall or short your shoulders are. The front zip is the most comfortable. It has hook and eye clasps, which are better than any of the other ones that I've seen, as well as this incredibly sturdy zipper and a zipper cover across the entire back. And you think I'm done, but I'm not. The band that goes here is also adjustable. Total Velcro, you pull it, you cinch it as tight as you want it, and there it is, and it fits you. This sports bra is $60, I know, I know. But to help you guys out, what I did is I signed up for their referral program to save you guys $10 when you sign up and purchase a sports bra. So it should take it down to $50, which is very close to the Victoria's Secret one. This is the best sports bra. You can do burpees in this, you can run in this. I have had no movement, no issues, no bleeding because the zipper rubs on me. The only thing I will tell you, and this might be unique to me because I'm weird, is when I breathe in heavily, my rib cage gets very large. And I found the first time I wore this, I tightened the rib cage strap too tight and it was hard to inhale all the way once I got my heart rate up during my run. So I had to stop and loosen it <laughs> and then keep going. So what I've learned for me is I put it on and then I inhale as much as I can to get my rib cage as big as I can and then I cinch it and then exhale and then I'm good. And it doesn't bother me after that. They come in a lot of cute colors. I got red because I love the color red, even though nobody really sees it but me and Dave. This sports bra is amazing. I'm gonna have to save up and get a couple more of these. These are fantastic. They have a whole sizing system on their website. I wanna say they recommended me get a medium, so that's what I got. So even though it is like small, medium, large, extra large, extra, extra large, because the whole thing is so adjustable, you really can fit it to you. I just felt like 
It, it held you in up top. It held you in at the bottom. This was super adjustable. It's a cross back, which I like, and it even has removable cup pads. So if you don't like the cup pads, take them out. But if you want to keep the cup pads in to give you a little smoothness, if you know what I'm saying, keep them in. So I thought that was fantastic. I have washed it and dried it several times. I have been wearing this one for about six weeks. Amazing. Highly recommend. 10 out of 10 recommend. Please invest in your girls. Okay. In order from favorite to least favorite of the ones I showed you for me personally. Okay. So keep in mind that my favorites are not going to fit everybody the same way because we all have different body shapes. Just like I told you that, um, my friends really enjoyed the other Amazon bra and it just wasn't a win for me. That's because we're shaped differently and that's okay. That's partly why there are so many of these options. Okay. If I'm going to go for a run top three that I'm going to pick, this one will be my number one pick every time if it's clean. Number two is going to be the champion one I got from Amazon with the blue padded straps. This one I feel very secure in. Number three is going to be the Victoria's Secret double knockout as long as I am not going over about six miles. As far as the rest go, this one from Target will not run in it ever. Um, no. <laughs> Absolutely no. And then the little skimpy ones I showed you at the beginning, I don't wear those either. This video took several months of research because I wanted to wear these sports bras in, in all kinds of running situations, long runs, short runs, sprints, uphills, downhills, and talk to my friends who are larger than I am to see what they thought as well. And so I hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you want to shop any of these, I will leave those links in the description box for you. Okay, that is going to wrap up this video. If you guys liked it, maybe give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna stick around and see any other videos that I've done. If you wanna see any other fitness videos that I've done, click over here. And if you wanna see any cooking videos and other stuff YouTube thinks you might like, go to this side. You can subscribe down below. And I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.